So, uh, Andreas and Christian, I would like to ask you, how long have you been aware of each other's work and how did you uh, get into touch about this project? Um, I, I know Andreas works since a uh, few years and I was very eager to, uh, to meet for this project uh, and I was very happy actually replied on my email very quickly <laughs> and I admired his work uh, for a long time so I was very, uh, very, very excited and very happy actually to, to meet him. You had seen it in, in Paris, I suppose, or in... Uh, exactly, yeah. yeah. I've seen uh, several stores. I've uh, seen beautiful website here I've also. Uh, I was really always attracted to uh, the aesthetics and uh, the mix of, 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 uh, of materials, especially, and the uh, um, sensibility in the, in the compositions and in the, the colors and everything. So, uh, um, for me, there was not even a second option, so <laughs> I was yeah. like, very happy that... And uh, for, for you, what are the criteria or how do you uh, consider or decide whether you want to... Uh I mean, I, I've seen some of like, Christian's work before, like the collections. Uh, it's really comparable to what we're doing as well. It's like a mix of different materials and, and to use like both like expensive and cheap materials. Actually, I, I especially did a presentation of the, the history of the brand uh, to be sure that it's convincing enough. <laughs> so I tried to make uh, like a summary of, uh, of what the brand was about and um, we wanted to do that for a long time anyway, to have a brand profile and uh, to work on a brand book. Um, so we need to see uh, what, uh, uh, what style and what women and uh, it was good to do that after so many years to, to, to realize again a little bit what your brand is about actually. Yeah. And how, how does it translate uh, that you both say the, the, the way of working with materials or aesthetics? How do you translate it between architecture and your collections? For me it was very very new uh, because I'm used to fabrics and, and yarns. Um, everything is more light and, and, and maybe well, my eyes easier to understand because I know it better. So uh, that's why I totally gave <laughs> carte blanche to others to choose and to come up with uh, ideas and proposals of, mm. of uh, materials. Yeah. It was really a collaboration between us, but uh, I mean, we always start with, of course, materials, but also like the layout of the store, what you want to, to see and, and not to see. Uh, I'm really into like making stores that are, um, that you can, you can find your way by yourself in a way, so you, you need some hidden places. I don't like stores that you can see everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we started with that, and I think we had like we brought a lot of materials down to Andrew for the first yeah. meeting. And I was like, we need to have this. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Andreas also works with a mood board, like we always always do uh, with colors and materials and prints, and um, he had prepared every everything really well on on the table with all the different uh, proposals of materials, even like little plants and um, and like cork and. Yeah, it's just in front of you, and it's, uh, you can you could touch the little samples and everything. So um, it was a very easy way of, of working, and not just like showing a picture or something from a book, but really just having all those different materials lying there on the table. It was very um, uh, very direct and, and, and easy to see uh, how it, how it works, and um, and you can start playing with, with all those samples. So um, for me, it was quite similar actually to uh, to, yeah. uh, to working on a collection. So, I mean, we used like glass fiber for a big, big part, so a lot of concrete, some, uh, some soft carpets, and some wood. So but they, they are both yeah. very natural and very artificial. Yeah, uh, exactly. So yeah. that, I mean, that, that was like actually yeah. the idea that I presented yeah. the first time was like nature versus like uh, artificial nature. Mm -hmm. That was how it started the idea. It's, it's actually, it was, it was very helpful and very good that um, Andreas came up directly after maybe almost the first meeting already with a kind of uh, concept and which was very helpful and easy to, to rely on uh, uh, to, to choose the materials but also like um, to have a bit of a story and it's true like uh, it, the concept actually was like uh, working around the, the idea of natural versus uh, artificial yeah. and uh, which translates very well in uh, um, some, some materials where you sometimes hesitate uh, I like that, that you don't really directly see if it's something like uh, made or if it's something natural. Like uh, we have some polyesters that look like marble, but we have some natural stones that look like concrete. Uh, so yeah. um, sometimes you have this uh, uh, this doubt uh, yeah. that uh, 
um, you play a little bit with that and also I, I think it's always really interesting to have the clash of um, things that are very new and maybe more technical or like uh, more shiny or more yeah, artificial and then next to that you have um, a more bit robust, rougher uh, and warmer yeah. so it's, uh, this, this idea of contrast uh, was uh, something that yeah, you came up from the start so when but I can imagine that you, when you make a collection, you have your book with the fabrics and the yes. you can touch the... How does it work with, uh, I don't know, with building? It is pretty much like the same, actually. Yeah. Have, but it's the bigger and okay. bigger examples. Uh, it takes much more time. Yes. Uh, so. And it's like, and it's much more expensive for every like piece. So I mean, during a process like building a store, it's like sometimes you need to change the material. And that can be a big change in the, in the, in the look of the store. Uh, I think that in this case we, we found like mm -hmm. nice, nice mix of them. How much does the building itself play a role? Uh, I mean, it, it always plays a role. I mean, in a way, you want to reflect it and, and look at it. And, and in this case, I mean, we have a really beautiful ceiling here, like a, a mm -hmm. concrete ceiling. But you couldn't see that when we when we built yeah. first times. So we've made a couple of small holes sometimes. <laughs> it's a nice ceiling. Uh, so then, I mean, then that became a really, really important part of the store as well. Let's say here the historical area. Does it play a role for you? I mean, I think I think it's it's good to know about it and to see it, but I don't I'm, I don't think it's necessary that I lose it. I think it's no, it's more, it's more the designers. Yeah, I think it's more like to to understand Christian's work and, and the design is doing and, and his world in a way. So. Can you say a little bit more about this winter's collection? About the, the collection was actually inspired uh, from photographies from uh, Jackie Nickerson. She's an American photographer and uh, uh, she, uh, she made a beautiful series of pictures about farmers in uh, Central Africa. And I loved especially the materials on the pictures. Uh, you could see like all this, uh, uh, this styling, this mix of, of plastics in a mix with, uh, with some very rough and uh, more natural materials. The material, there's a lot of wool I see, leather? Um, oh, actually, um, we used uh, fake leather. Ah, okay. uh, actually, this is a, a coating uh, print, uh, which then finally looks like leather. Um, which again, like this, uh, this link between artificial and natural. Uh, but for the, the knitwear, uh, we used a lot of alpaca, some mohair, um, where we also integrated some uh, some Swarovski, some crystals, um, and of course like merino wool as well. Yeah. Yeah. Whose idea was it to to have a beautiful uh, garden uh, in the back? Uh, well, Sorry. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was your idea. Yeah, I mean, we especially actually choose this location because there was the possibility of uh, using a garden. I collaborated with uh, Bart and Peter, which are garden architects uh, from here, and uh, they came up with a selection of plants that are green in the summer, in the winter, <laughs> and that, uh, that can resist the Belgian weather. Yeah. <laughs> from the start, uh, there was something about using mirrors in the garden, which, which we liked. Um, you don't really see it very, in a very obvious way, but the idea is to, um, to have some reflection, mm -hmm. um, to actually create, create some, some depth. So it's a bit part of this secret garden or secret corners mm -hmm. uh, idea. Mm -hmm. are, are there more examples of that? I mean, the layout of the store is it's very, very, very simple. I mean, the yeah. whole thing we've done almost is like we, we made an angle of the space. So it's like it's wider in the beginning. It's, and it's turns down to nothing here. But then it opens up to this room where you're sitting now and opens up behind the wall. And I think that I mean, since it's it's a quite small store so you can't do a lot of like different small rooms and, and so on. So I think that I, I really like the layout of this store. You you the further you go into the store the more you you, you realize uh, the, the architecture or you suddenly uh, find out that the store is getting bigger and um, so this discovery uh, step by step by, by going further down in the store, I think it's a really nice thing. And um, yeah, you just want to see more and, and ex explore. And I think yeah. uh, that's uh, also a nice thing I've seen in many of your projects. Like um, you sometimes have like yeah, corridors or like suddenly like a small wall. And so you have a little bit this uh, di discovery um, um, feeling. And, and I, li I like that as well, not to give everything away from the start. Even like with the last wall, uh, which is here, <laughs> I said to Andreas like one month ago, or maybe we shouldn't put it there, and maybe it's nice to have one. And 
you were like, no, no, we have to, we have to, and I'm really happy it's here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can compromise on, on many things, but like, when it comes to layout, it's like, no, we need to keep it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You both look very happy uh, with the collaboration. I'm sure if there are any future projects, you might uh, continue. Yeah. I, mean, I, I would love to. Of course. So, yeah. yeah. Of course, <laughs> okay, yeah. thank you both very much. Thank you. Thank you.